Welcome to my channel, Life with Stephanie. I sold my house in Florida and I moved into my 2023 Flagstaff ePro 15TB. My best friend flew from Montana to Florida to drive across the country with me. We had amazing adventures along the way. I have videos in the description of our adventures if you wanna check them out. Uh, but right now I wanted to take some time and kind of wrap up how the trip went. I didn't get too much footage at the end of the trip. Uh, we were in Colorado and I, I will talk about, you know, what we did in Colorado, you know, at the end, but I just kind of want to give you an overview of how it all went. So we started in Destin and we got a, uh, we got a campsite at Topsail Hill Preserve State Park. And that was a great experience. We spent two days there. We were really lucky to get a um, spot there. Um, we got the second day on a cancellation. You can take a beach tram down to the beach um, that they provide for you for free, or you can just bike down there to the beach. Either way, um, they have their own little private beach area. We went and explored the boardwalk in Destin, beaches, restaurants. It was, it was a really fun experience in Destin. Uh, nightlife there is great. Um, I did a little video on our Destin trip if you want to go check that out. We went and visited some friends in Panama City, went fishing, caught some red snapper and uh, cooked them right up that day. Fresh, made some fish tacos and stuff. It was a really fun experience. And this whole time, um, you know, moving the trailer around, it was no big deal. Trailer and truck did good. Then it was time to leave Florida, so we went to Meridian, Mississippi and uh, found a really cute little campground there. We were the only ones there. Right by a little lake, watched an amazing sunrise the next morning. Great overnighter, um, water and power hookup. We knew that our final destination was Montana, but we didn't know the uh, route in which we were gonna get there. Every day we were planning uh, just somewhere to explore along the way and it was gonna take us this direction or that direction and we didn't really know. So daily we were making a, a decision on where we were gonna go and what we were gonna explore and it was just the fun of it. So after like our after our time in Meridian, Mississippi, we decided to drive to Hot Springs, Arkansas and explore Hot Springs National Park. We had a great experience and we found a campground like five minutes away from the from the national park. Cute little campground, had a creek running through it. If you get a campsite uh, along the creek, then the creek's like right in your backyard of your campsite. And um, it was probably one of my favorite campsites because it was so pretty and the birds were chirping really loudly in the morning and it had full hookup, sewer, power, and water. And everybody was so nice and it was so close to the national park so we had so we can just drive back and forth no problem by this time amanda and i definitely had the trailer hookup process down to a t teamwork style could hook it up in 10 minutes pull in and then hook up in 10 minutes and ready to explore while eating some watermelon for breakfast and drinking some coffee we decided to go north to the um, ozark mountains and because Arkansas is such a pretty state, we wanted to stay longer and explore more of Arkansas because we were doing some hikes and it was just so pretty. So we drove north to the Ozark Mountains and we found a campground called Tyler Bend Campground in the Ozark Mountains along the Buffalo National River. It was a come, first come first serve site and that was the first time we didn't have any hookups. After a full day of hiking and um, exploring and and everything we came back to the batteries drained to um to fair we weren't hooked up to power it was like over 100 degrees outside and very humid and so uh, all i can think of was the refrigerator was working too hard and um i also had the fan in the bathroom on and something plugged in to be charging i think it was like a phone or a fan or something like that and um it just drained the batteries so I don't, I'm, I haven't been boondocking with this trailer very much, and so I haven't really pushed the limits of it. And I was parked in the sun, so I have solar. So the solar panel was right in the sun the entire day, no shade. Anyway, I know I have an option here. Like I have a little port over here for more solar. I might consider that as an option. Maybe I need more solar or just get a generator 
um, if I plan on doing more boondocking. But for the most part, I'm hook up, hooked up to power wherever I go. But it's nice to have that backup, you know, for if I want to stay somewhere that doesn't have power. After that, we went west to um, a different part of the Ozark Mountains. The roads were skinny and windy and the trailer did so good. I could barely feel it back there. It handled really nicely and um, we were lucky enough to have really good weather. Uh, so we went to the Buffalo Center campground and it was kind of in the middle of nowhere in the mount up way up in the mountains and uh, took a little bit to get there and we were like where is this place um, but we get there and it has a beautiful view of the mountains and they're all pull through sites and that was refreshing and full hookup power water sewer the bathhouse was beautiful it was like it looked like a cabin it was a really nice uh facility for being you know up in the mountains you, you don't expect such a nice place it was very nice and the whole area was great everybody was so nice in arkansas so yeah but tell this point the trailer was doing great the truck was doing great got to see some fireflies which was pretty amazing and made us really happy <laughs> And um, after that, we left west out of Arkansas. We made our next destination, Denver, Colorado. We just didn't know if we wanted to go through Texas or, or through Kansas. We were trying to make a choice between those two routes. And so we just flipped a coin and you know, the coin made our decision and it was Kansas. So that video will also be down in the description. I thought it was kind of a fun video because we did go to Kansas. As soon as we hit Kansas, it was it was super windy, and that was the first of the real wind that um, I had encountered with the trailer and the truck. So I'm not sure exactly how fast the wind was going, but it was pretty windy. I have sway bars, and I barely felt the wind. It, it was a little squirrely at times, like, oh, I can feel the wind there, but it wasn't like super noticeable. So I feel like the sway bars are definitely, they definitely make a difference. Another um, issue we encountered was uh, one night we were trying to close the door to the trailer and um, it, the door wouldn't close and the, the handle, the actually the door handle fell off. And uh, at first it wouldn't close and lock and we're like, that's an issue. We can't, it's not safe if we can't close and lock our door, especially it's, it's at night. It was started to wiggle and it just kind of fell off. We were like, oh, that, well, that's not good. We, we're not going to be able to be safe if we can't shut our door. And so um, we just kind of messed with it and started looking into it and put it together like a puzzle piece. I would have filmed us doing it, but um, my hands were full with parts and so was Amanda's. And anyway, we put it together like a puzzle piece and we were looking at all the parts and how they worked. It took out all, all the screws and um, screwed them all back in and the door actually works better than it did before. So we were super proud of ourselves for fixing the door all by ourselves. We got this. So it's really handy that I had a screwdriver set with us because <laughs> that's really the only problem I had with this trailer is screws wiggling out of their place along the way. So we hit Kansas, we were exploring Kansas and uh, Dodge City. Yeah, a big storm blew in with all that wind and uh, a tornado went, warning went off on our phones and it started showing up on the news. The town siren is going off and it was so loud and so we couldn't leave the restaurant we were in so we just sat and had some drinks and waited for everything to die down and they were telling us where to go if we needed to take shelter for the tornado what i was worried about was the trailer like oh shoot you know the wind is going to damage it or hail is going to damage it and no we actually we we got out um there was a double a beautiful double rainbow to say, hey, everything's fine. <laughs> and um, yeah, I looked at the solar panel and no damage, so that was really good. The storm leaving the area was amazing. We stayed at a casino parking lot. We watched the storm leave the area and the sky was beautiful and um, lightning, all of the beauty of a storm we could see from afar and it was just leaving the area. So we were going to Denver, Colorado because there is a place called the Grizzly Rose there, a country dance club. We love to swing dance and line dance. We tried to find a boondockers welcome place to stay at in Denver, but there was nothing available anywhere. I looked all over the area, nothing available. We spent a good part of the day researching, trying to figure out where to park the trailer, where it was gonna be safe. I did not feel comfortable parking the trailer 
just anywhere, of course. We decided to get a hotel in a really nice area, which is kind of on the outskirts of Denver, and found a really nice hotel. Talked to the manager, he said we can park the trailer out in the parking lot along a tree line where it was just kind of secluded. And it was right in front of the front desk area. So I felt like it was pretty safe. So we were able to just secure it for one night in the parking lot and it was fine. Everything was fine. Had a blast dancing. And then um, the next day we went to Colorado Springs and uh, that's this is kind of where I didn't get any footage or take video, but I was able to find a boondockers welcome place in town in somebody's front yard and it was pretty awesome because we had electricity and water and they were so nice and we parked there for two days the trailer was secure it was safe and we were able to drive like 10 minutes to everything we wanted to drive to so garden of the gods was on our radar to go visit because we read up on it and it seemed like a really cool place and then there was like places downtown that we wanted to go check out so everything was like in that vicinity it was perfect so we went to the garden of the gods beautiful place it's um uh it's got like beautiful rock formations in this park and they're kind of different colors and lots of interesting information about the area as far as history and um, so it was a very very busy area I mean so many people there were so many people so we just drove through the park and then after that we drove a long day through Wyoming googled the best steak in Wyoming and found a place called Miners and Stockmen's. It's in Hartville, Wyoming. Kind of in the middle of nowhere, literally, where, you know, it's like a half an hour off the, of the highway, which made it a little more fun, but it was the, the oldest bar in Wyoming. And a uh, super cute little place, and they did. They made a, a really amazing steak. So we were super satisfied and um, got a really good dinner and kept driving through Wyoming and finally we made it to Helena, Montana where free spirit gets a break. <laughs> She's parked in a garage and taking a break before our next trip. So that trip will be coming up very soon, but we're all resting up for now. I just wanted to update the trailer did good. The truck did good. No issues. Just screws rattling out of the trailer pretty much. The mirror um, has held up the entire trip. We fit in the trailer really well. We slept in there really well. We didn't cook in the trailer because we did a lot of exploring and um, eating at restaurants and stuff because that's kind of our thing is eating new food in new areas. Um, but we did grill up some onions one day for sandwiches. So I, I didn't film that. I, I thought about it afterwards because it's kind of funny. We were kind of dancing around the kitchen like she was doing one thing and I was doing the other and then we would like swap spots and then swap spots again and it was almost like a dance <laughs> and so it helps to get along with each other if you're in a small area like this and just know what the other one is doing we didn't really have to take showers in the trailer along the way and for the most part the campgrounds had showers I did take a shower in it once worked out great storage was enough for what we needed to store in the trailer and um the only thing was the refrigerator is a little small for a long trip like that there was um things that we wanted to store in the refrigerator that wouldn't fit or like drinks and stuff like that so that was kind of we had an extra cooler in the back of the truck for like, drinks and, and and other things that wouldn't fit so like that big watermelon that we bought <laughs> We cut up, it would definitely not fit in the refrigerator, so we had to get a, we had to store it in the cooler. Anyway, if you wanna see our, our trip, I will place uh, the videos down in the description so you can go check those out. Um, but right now, our trip has ended in Helena, Montana, and it will pick up again uh, here in the near future. Until then, I will see you all later. But first, positive thought for the day is, find what brings you joy and go there.